<laughs> All right, this next uh, guy is kind of a big deal. Give it up for Justin Hunter. Hey guys, thanks for having me. All right, well I had a dream a couple nights ago and I was in front of an audience and I was actually trying to make people laugh and they were laughing which is kind of going away from what I was trying to do, which is feel, make you guys feel awkward. But after the, all the dick jokes and vagina jokes, I think I'm gonna go for the awkward. So, bedwetters. Do I have any bedwetters or ex-bedwetters in the audience? Wait, is anybody from uh, West Sonoma County? Uh, Santa Rosa? Same thing. All right, so until 14, I was a bedwetter every goddamn night. Now this is like terrible because I was also in Boy Scouts and going to camp with fucking Depends because you know, you sleep through it, you wake up because, well, it's cold. That's what wakes you up 20 minutes later. You know, small bladder, really deep sleeper. Yeah, you wet the bed. Well, anyways, okay. So exciting things. All right. Well, let's let's go back to vaginas because vaginas are are really awesome. Okay. Do you guys know what fisting is, right? Not like <laughs> fisting. Okay. Never could throw a punch to save my life. Even though I'm a big guy, I always knew how to wrestle. But anyways, fisting. So you take your hand and you stick it up a vagina and see, okay, the awesome thing about it though is like when you're doing fingers, you're going like this, like 30 minutes, right? When you get the fist in there, you do this. It's super easy, right? It's the lazy man's finger. If you can get that shit up there, you will have the girl crying because she's had so many goddamn orgasms and all you did was relax your hand into a fist. And you know what? <laughs> There's nothing better than having it out there. My God. I got, and look at this thing. Okay. The first time I fisted somebody, I went to the stud. Okay. It's a gay bar, but I have a thing for fag hacks. I don't know why. So it was 1 a.m. There was this Lady, she told fag hack. I was like, let's go fuck. And she lived just a block down there. So we start fucking. So she's also a squirter, by the way. Okay, and I'm not just talking like a little bit. I mean, I'm talking, I went down on her and I could feel this stuff dribbling down. It's like a hot, slightly salt, it's not like normal pussy juice. It's like wet. It's like warm water with just a slight salty taste, but not that much. And I was like, mm, and like, oh! I mean, I was choking on the shit. And then I started, you know, fucking her because it's like, okay, I can't take it anymore because it was like drowning. I was choking on it. So, all right. I need to put this in there because that's a really important rule. Number one rule of fisting is you can never have enough lube, okay? You get it there, you put more lube. 10 minutes go by, you put more lube. It's gotta be fucking dripping off your arm, okay? If you think you have enough lube, yeah, put another squirt. It's just gotta be everywhere, all right? Because it's really tight, right? And the trick is, if you, you see, you just gotta relax your hand and you start like this. And you know, you get three fingers, right? Three fingers is a lot. Like, look at this. I got a big hand. And then you get to this point. And I've actually had it stop here. Like, it's physically poss impossible to get my hand up because it's wide enough into a vagina, okay? And then you just gotta relax it in. And make sure your nails are really trimmed, by the way, guys. You'll thank me later. Uh, What's the number one rule of, of fisting? You can lube, never have too much lube. All right, you squirt some lube on there. So she is, I mean, my God, I my arm is dripping with lube and things. And it's not much like, and it also makes a really weird sound. It's like, and it's like, God damn, that's a lot. And, and I'm, you know, and also, I was already drunk. 
no way I was going home anywhere tonight. And there's, you know, south of Market, there's no good transportation. So, <laughs> guess where I slept? Yeah, I slept in a giant fucking wet bed that reminded me of my childhood. I mean, ah. <laughs> So here I was, shivering in this giant <laughs> wet bed covered in pussy juice and lube. And I'm just having flashbacks to like shame and like keeping it secret while I was in Boy Scout camp. And you know, you couldn't have sleepovers, you couldn't have your friends over, because the moment they sit on your bed, you're like, hey, what's that rubber thing on your mattress for? Ooh. And they're like, uh, because it went the bed. So, all right. Well, and don't worry, it never got better uh, as far as the girl and and my fisting. Because then a couple days later, we had a, a date. We hung out, and we watched Pumpkin, which is a story about a cheerleader falling in love with a retarded guy. Okay, never take a date to watch that. <laughs> Yeah, it never happened. So that's my little pussy juice story. I appreciate it very much. I'm Justin Hunter, and on May 14th, I'm going to be at the White Horse Inn. I'm going to be doing my first bear-less performance. So I'm going to have you as a Viking, and I'm going to have fur tassels. So tonight, you get to see a little preview. See, this is more than I'm just going to show it. I'm going to be shaking that. So thank you, White Horse Inn, Oakland, May 14th, the premiere of my burlesque performance. Give it up again for Justin Hunter.